You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and this is a special candidates edition of Greater Brockton. We have the Ward 5 School Committee representative, Judy Sullivan. Judy, nice to see you. Nice Usually to see, see you, you on Mark. TV for the school committee meetings, and now we have you in the studio. And we do want to point out that we did offer your opponent uh, the time to debate. Uh, she declined, so I didn't think it was fair to you to not allow you to be on TV right. to talk about your candidacy, and that's why we're here. All right. So Good. It's another election. Uh, this mm. would the, the, you're seeking to be reelected, second term. Yes. Um, third term. Actually. Third term. I'm sorry. Yes. That's right. Because um, I know you had a contested race the first time. I do stand corrected. I think it was Gwen Knowles who was yes. your opponent. Okay, that's right. So it's the third term. I didn't mean to erase two of your years. Um, <laughs> Why do you want to be reelected? Is it is it unfinished business? Is there things in the school department that uh, you think we should address? I know that the, the, the city's talking about a lawsuit uh, against the state to get uh, equitable funding for Brockton Public Schools. Why do you still want to do it? It's a tough job. School committee, and I'm on a school committee, you have more meetings than anybody. You have PAC meetings, PTO meetings, subcommittee meetings, regular meetings, and then you're out in the community. Are you a glutton for punishment? No, I, um, I'm running because I have interest in the issues. I'm a former teacher, so I'm very interested in the issues that the Brockton Public Schools faces. Okay. My children went to these schools, and I, I feel that they're very good schools, and I want to be a voice for the positivity to the schools so we can have positive things being said about our schools because they have been recognized as being a very good school system. We have great schools in Brockton. Right. I'm very proud that I was a Brockton High graduate and I loved my whole entire Brockton experience years ago. It's yep. a long time at this point. My mother was a teacher in the schools. Um, are you worried about the present state of the schools? I mean, this was a tough year. In the past, there were all sorts of layoff notices. There's a whole process whereby the 15th of May, the teachers have to get pink slipped and right. they get recalled. This is the first year a lot of them didn't come back. Are, right. are you concerned? Yes, very concerned about the budget. Um, the budget is the number one issue that you have to um, understand if you're running a school committee because that's you can't do anything without the funding. And um, a lot of people, you know, I've heard some things out there that people um, say it's awful what we're doing to the kids. Mm -hmm. It's awful what's happening to the schools. Yes, it is awful, and that's why we are planning on an equity in education lawsuit. The um, mayor... Mayor Carpenter and Superintendent Smith have been advocating with school committee and our city councilors for more funding for Brockton schools right. and for the city of Brockton. I mean, it's all about the budget, what money that we get from the state, and that's our chap Chapter 70 money, and then our, that's our net school. And our non-net school spending is our uh, money that we get for transportation. Right. And we don't we're not properly funded for transportation, so the city has to come up with the money for, to bus our kids. And our school system has free breakfast and lunch for every student. Right. That's, I believe, and through they, a grant. And they changed the formula for counting poor students. We right. Didn't, we, didn't, we, we don't have any less poor students. Right. It's the state changed the formula. Right. And it really hurt Brockton. Right, because time. it was be, it was counted on the, the free and reduced lunch program. Mm -hmm forms which are no longer filled out because right. everybody gets free lunch right so right. they're not being filled out and counted as this is how many low income we have right so that's a lot of the Brockton kids count people say what does that mean Brockton kids count Brockton kids count in the funding because it costs a certain we get a certain amount from the state for each student's seat and if we're not getting money for the homeless students or children that are coming over from the Haitian earthquake. Then we're not getting money from the state for that seat, but we still have to educate or them. Or any money after October 1st. Right. If someone comes in after October 1st, like let's say we get a whole bunch of students from Puerto Rico right. that come here. I, I saw the article in the paper. Mm. Um, like the Haitian earthquake, there could be a lot of funding gaps at, right. at, at that point in time. Now, how many schools are in your district? I know it's north-south zone, so it's not just specifically wards, right. but you have the Baker School in I your district? I have four schools. Baker, Pluff is a middle school, yeah. uh, East Middle, yeah. and the Baker, uh, Downey. Downey. Okay, Downey. so that's a lot because um, 
I always like to say, and I guess I'm biased because I'm a school committee member too for Southeastern. Right. Schools take a lot of time. There's a, yes. there's a lot of activities. I'm, I'm right. sure you go to those activities. Yes. But the subcommittees will kill you. Which yes. subcommittees are you on? Um, the, presently, the subcommittees that I've served on are um, policy manual review because we have a policy manual that wasn't really updated since 2012. So we're trying to update that mm -hmm. with MASC. Right. Mass right. Association School Committees. Right. Because there's certain laws that we have to follow in our manual, so we and have to make sure that we can't just change something and not check with MASC. Okay. Because Mass Association of School Committees is our supporter. It's our people when we're on school you committee. And I are both members. <laughs> yeah, you understand, Mark, and I know. I'm the chair of the policy subcommittee at, at Southeastern. So yeah. it, it was, this is just policy manual. It's, uh, we have a policy manual. But policy is separate. That's the whole committee of the whole. Um, no, we have a subcommittee, and then it goes to the whole committee. Okay. It, it goes through like first, second, and third readings and all of that stuff. Yeah. But you guys really have meaty subcommittee meetings. Right. Um, the finance committee of the school committee is a committee of the whole. Yeah. So you're on that. Yep. The finance. And is there any other committees? I am on. Um, I have also served on negotiations with the BEA. Which is very time consuming. That last contract, right? Yep. That's very time. consuming. And we did have. We did kind of try to negotiate to change that May 15th date mm -hmm. so that we could get, because we don't have the budget from the state by then. Right, the, the state goes all the way down to the wire. Sometimes right. they don't have the budget passed by July 1st. Right. And sometimes they're on one twelfth of a budget or two twelfths right. of a budget. So how could it's a, a, a never school ending committee battle. or a city or town We don't want to lay off the teachers. We don't have the money by May 15th and we tried to extend it to June 15th but it didn't go through on the negotiations with the teachers because they want to be able to have time to look for new jobs. Mm -hmm. What's the number and one? And some of the jobs are coming out by May sure, 15th. Sure. What's the number one issue you're hearing from your constituents? I'm sure now that you're running, you're probably going out knocking on doors, placing your signs out there. What are you hearing from your constituents? What are you hearing from the people? What are they concerned about? Are they concerned about class size? Are they concerned They're concerned about, about, They're concerned about the budget. The budget. The budget. They're concerned about safety. Mm -hmm. Which is always, you know, one of my number ones too is budget safety. Mm -hmm. um, they they want to have good teachers in their schools teaching their kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they um, they just want you, you know there's a lot of good people here, and there's a lot of positive things going on, and they just want you know their kids to have a good education, which I think they're going to get in Brockton. Mm -hmm. They sure are. Yeah. Um, how important is to have a good? I, I I had your colleague on on a different segment, your city councilor. How important it is to have a good working relationship with your city councilor that represents the ward, the councilors at large, that are all they represent everyone in the city, and the mayor? It's, it, you have to be able to work with everybody, and you have to be able to communicate with them. And I think that um, Ann Beauregard and I, we work together very well. She lets me know what's going on on the city side. I let her know what's going on for the schools. If I get an email from uh, something about the schools, then I say, look at this, you know, because so, sometimes she's getting the same email, mm -hmm. you know, or one of her counselors at large are getting it. Right. You know, so that, that did happen with the Downey School, with the back gate at the Downey School. Um, so we, we communicated on that. You, you have to, to get the issues resolved. Mm -hmm. You know, there also was a, a light out in front of the Downey School that a car hit over the summer, and a resident, you know, said, what happened to the light when school started again? And I said, gee, there was a light there. I went down. I said, where's the light? And then I remembered that over the summer, because I read the paper still. Sure. So I check up on everything that goes on. And uh, a car did hit the light, and the, the, that has to go to traffic commission. Right. So that's nothing that the schools can solve. So you have to be able to work with the city and with the mayor. Mm -hmm. you know? Now, do you feel that um, people know how to get in touch with you, know how to talk to you? I, I know you're involved with CCD over at uh, Christ, Christ the King. The King. Yep. So there's a, another type of community involvement. Um, people know how to find you. They know how to get in touch with you. Do you feel like yeah, you have I'm a at, good rapport with your constituents? I'm at the PTA meetings at the Baker and the Downey. Um, the middle schools, I don't really think they have active PTAs right now, um, but I try to get there. I speak at the graduation at the Plough School each year mm -hmm. for the eighth grade students. I speak to the students and the teachers. Okay. And I'm, I'm out there in the community and I'm talking to people, and I see people at the church, and I, I tell them that I'm on the school committee. If they need any, parents can contact me. My number is 508-588-9171, and 
and I'm also, my email is Sullivan school committee sc ward 5 at gmail.com and if you go to the Brockton Public Schools website you can see all our contact information go under administration school committee yep. hit on that and there's all your school committee people and all their contact information so if you don't remember what I'm saying you can just go to the Brockton Public School website which has been updated to be more user friendly and language um, friendly for our ethnic groups and you, and you can, can find always go on channel 12 because we have your number up there too that's and the right city website has it up there <laughs> as well so um, they gave, he gave me the five minute queue it's probably more like four okay. I'm going to give you up to two but I want you real quick before you sum summarize tell me your favorite thing about being on the school committee like in 30 seconds or less or your least favorite thing how's that okay my favorite thing about being on the school committee is that I can be a voice for the kids and the parents and that I can um, help them with issues that they want resolved so that we can keep moving forward with the schools being positive and not have a lot of people that are upset by issues that are, aren't being resolved. Um, I also uh, am, am, am very interested in the issues. I am a former teacher, so I find that the issues are important. I'm looking at them anyway, so I might as well be on the school committee where I can be a voice there for the go. issues. There you <laughs> go. So the next two minutes is yours. Forget I'm here. Okay. The camera's over there. You can address your constituents directly right. and sell yourself. All right. Go ahead. Okay, I just wanted to talk to everybody about pe why people should vote for me. People should vote for me because I have been living in Ward 5 for over 35 years. I have been working with children and families most of my adult life. I am a former teacher. My children went to the Brockton Public Schools. My background, both professionally and personally, shows that I have the experience to work with children and families. I have served four years on the school committee. I understand the issues facing the schools today. I have my bachelor's in education. Like I said, I, I am a former teacher, but we really need to work on the funding and in order to, for me to continue with getting us properly funded by the state, I need to have an, another term. Thank you, Judy. I appreciate it. Thank and, you, Mark. Um, I want to thank BCA and Mark Lindy for allowing me to speak tonight. My whole team. That's the what whole we're here team. For. That's what we're here for. So BCA. we'll see you on the other end of the election. And, uh, you know, just basically want to tell all, of, all the viewers that the most important thing to do on November 7th is go out and vote. We had a 9.5% turnout in the preliminary. That was not good. We want 10 times that. This is the City of Champions. Make us proud. Do your civic duty. Thank you for joining us.